For people who have seen the colossal Antonov AN-225 Amria in person, they know that they've been lucky to see an incredibly rare aircraft. As well as being known for the majesty of its sheer size, the AN-225 draws attention since it's the only one that was ever produced. While Antonov did start constructing a second Umbria, this particular plane remains unfinished. Why is this? Meaning dream in Ukrainian, Antonov designed and built its Umbria AN-225 to support the Soviet space program. It replaced the Myasashev BMT Atlant, with its role being to carry the program's Buran orbiters. In this sense, it served a similar purpose to the Boeing 747s that NASA deployed to carry its space shuttles from place to place. The first AN-225 took to the skies for the first time in December 1988 and appeared on static display at the Paris Air Show the following year. In 1990, it also performed demonstration flights at the Farnborough Air Show. The Soviet space program ordered two AN-225s to carry its orbiters and boosters, but only ever took delivery of the first example. The fact that Antonov never delivered the second AN-225 to the Soviet space program wasn't for want of trying. It actually began constructing the aircraft in the 1980s, but before it was completed, the fall of the Soviet Union led to the end of its Buran space program. This rendered the first AN-225 surplus to requirements, and it was placed into storage in 1994. This also caused construction work on the second example to be suspended, and the partially built airframe was also sent to storage. However, the turn of the century saw a revival for the completed AN-225, with Antonov also turning its attention to finishing the second example. In 2006, it aimed to have the plane completed by 2008, although this target was soon delayed. By 2009, construction was abandoned, with the aircraft reportedly 60 to 70 percent complete. Ukrainian Journal reported in 2011 that $300 million was needed to complete the aircraft. However, more recently, Antonov's CEO declared last year that getting the unfinished aircraft airborne is now quote-unquote economically unviable. With the existing AN-225 already only carrying out fairly limited operations, completing a second aircraft now doesn't make financial sense. So, to sum things up, a combination of the fall of the Soviet Union and a lack of demand are the two key factors for the world not having a second AN-225. In recent times, the one and only active AN-225 recently returned to service after a 10-month hiatus. In early July, the aircraft delivered medical supplies from Germany to Ghana and Namibia after flying three helicopters from Afghanistan to RAF Rise Norton in the UK. The six-engine behemoth's departure was so powerful that it partially destroyed the airbase's fence. Did you know about the story of the second unfinished Antonov AN-225? Have you ever seen the first working example in person? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.